I'm going to show you how to create an application from source code with OpenShift Container Platform. I will log into the web UI using my developer user. We are greeted with the service catalog. This is an OpenShift Container Platform 3.7. There are multiple builder images visible in this section, and we will use the .NET Core builder image. I have clicked on the .NET Core builder image. This displays a bit of information on the sample repository that I could use. I will use another um, application that I have in my GitHub here. It's called .NET Core City Info. And I will copy the URL to that application and we'll use it in the next step. First, I need a project name. I call that .NET Core Test and the display name .NET Testing should work with an application name and this is uh, city info and I put the link to my source code repository here and I just click create. Now um, I can go to the project overview and um, see the details of the application that I have created here. There's multiple objects that get created in the OpenShift environment. There is a deployment uh, config that I can see here there is a route created for that application here. I will need that to get to the application. Once it is uh, compiled, a container image has been built and the application has been started. There's currently no deployments. There is an internal object called service that um, is needed for internal communication and also informs the route, which we see here again. Further down, we see that city info has a build running. So there is the .NET core image that was scheduled into the cluster and given the parameter to my GitHub repository and now went uh, was started, um, went to the uh, GitHub, got the source code and is now installing further dependencies that are needed to compile this uh, .NET source code into a runnable application. This will take a little while. And uh, once it is done compiling, the last steps that you will see in this window are, are the pushing of the image layers into the uh, internal registry. And once the image is pushed successfully, the application will be scheduled. So compilation is complete. Now the image layers are pushed into the OpenShift internal registry.
the first layer of the image uh, is a bit bigger. So it's now pushed successfully and uh, the deployment has started. It says rolling deployment is running and uh, the circle is filling out, filling out. So now the workload has been scheduled to a node and that node is now pulling the image that we pushed to the registry. And now it is up and running. So let's click on the route and see if we can access the application. Looks like it still needs a little time to be fully up. Let's investigate the application a bit further. So there is a pod running and we can see the details about the pod. And um, that is the pod view. So it says it's running on OS E node 3. And I can... I can see the locks here and it tells me it started and listening now. So I'll try again resolving the root. And there it comes. There it is. So we do have uh, a panel here. This is the application that is running and displaying me uh, tiles with infos about cities. Um, and the current info that we get is uh, the local time and these different cities. And all of that is running in an application in .net. and this is a thumbnail window into this pod. And looking at the process list, I can see there's a .NET running, my .NET core city info DLL 